Okay, so before we begin the BQ review for this week, uh, let me in, in introduce our channel. So uh, I am from IDS Investor Daughter Academy. So uh, under this video, uh, we provided our free channel link. So from this channel, you can get more insight about um, future trading setup and about the latest news in the market. So we got actually YouTube, Facebook, Telegram, and i3, all the links they provided below this video. So just feel free to and to join it. And if you find it useful, please share with your friends and let more people know about our channel. Alright, so if you have any question regarding our future trading, um, please feel free to reach to us. Okay, you can comment or PM or contact by our phone number. So the they, that will become the end of 2018. So the start of the 2019 we come with uh, more activities. So the first activities will begin with uh, 5th of January. This is free. So, but uh, you need to register with us our coffee session. So you have the chance to meet with me. So we can di discuss more on this uh, future trading. All right. So uh, our coffee session free uh, will be on 5th of January. So please feel free to contact us this number to register with us. And then our first course in January, all right, our foundation course will be on 12th and 13th of January. So this technical course will be more on practical side. So we will use the technical and the fundamental analysis all right to actually use it on actual practical real life trading all right so it's only 688 per person and our advanced course will be on 19 and 20 of january we will cover money management and also the fibonacci also is practical real life trading all right it's only 1088 ringgit and combine all together you will get a discount price which is 1688 okay this is a very cheap price and for a four day futures trading course included foundation at, at once okay so let us uh, enter the main topic today which is the victory review for the week of uh, start from 24 of December so at first as usual we look through uh, what happened for the five market this week all right so same as before this vertical lines is start from the monday so we can see here um fki actually doing good this week okay bo bullish and also same with last week okay it's higher than last week and with higher highs and higher lows so it's going to testing a technical rebound or we call it window dressing for the year end okay so it's doing good uh, but overall it's still in a bearish trend mm, but we can see it's te testing rebound for now so next we look at the fcpo fcpo is actually lower than the last week so it's more to bearish all right you can see here it's going to drop but not drop uh, lower low at the 2093 around here okay but we can see here the seller is in charge of the market right now but not yet confirm the bearish signal as the technical indicator still closing up. Okay, so for CPO is uh, more bearish week. And then we look at the crude oil. Crude oil is also a bearish week. Okay, we can see here it still continues its downtrend. All right, but we can see here got a technical rebound from outside of Bollinger Band and not creating lower low. All right, so we need higher high to confirm the further rebound signal. So it's around 47. So the trend may become a sideway in between 42 to 47. So we wait for a breakup. And but the trend is still more to bearish with a possible technical rebound. Okay, so the week is a uh, mix. Okay, the buy the buying and selling power for this week is quite mixed for the crude oil. And then we look at the gold. Gold is actually a bullish week. Okay, we can see here it keep forming the higher high and higher lows and then this is the monday and then we can see it going to uh break higher high so the we can see here the buying power is still coming in so it's a bullish week for the gold 
And at last, we look at the Dow Jones. <coughs> Dow Jones, we can see here, uh, is a much more better week compared to the last week. Last week, you can see it continue to drop, and but this week, after it formed a historical low, then uh, it's starting to rebound. So may maybe same with the FKRI going to test for a technical rebound, or we call it window dressing for the year end. Okay, so we can see here. So this week is quite a bullish uh, week for the, the Dow Jones. Despite that, the overall trend is still in the bearish. All right, so we can see here a possible technical rebound in short term. Okay, so uh, first I summarize all the markets for this week. So we can see here, FKLI and Dow Jones is about the same. All right, it's a more bullish week for this week. The buying power return okay, may have a short recovery. And then the CPO is a bearish week. Same, uh, the crude oil is an uncertain week for this week. Okay, we can see here the quite neutral. Okay, and with the gold is a bullish week. So this is what happened for the last week, and then we go into deep to discuss how we gonna trade for the next week, which is uh, the start of the 2019. Okay, how we gonna trade in a fresh new year. So we look at the FKI first from the weekly chart weekly chart we can see here it touched the bottom of Bollinger band and then testing for a rebound okay but require the technical indicators to confirm the rebound so it's in a testing rebound trend but no confirm of rebound signal yet okay the chart show the same all right Re rebound from the outside of Bollinger band same like here okay and same like here and then technical indicators got closing up so uh, the daily chart got a signal of technical rebound. Okay, we can see here got a, bu a bullish divergence here. Okay, let me draw a bullish divergence, which is meaning that uh, the price and the RSI is going to in different way. And by theory, uh, the candle should and the or the price it should be follow the indicator. Okay, so we can see here testing technical rebound. So from Fibonacci here, we can see 61.8 Fibo level will be a strong resistance level, which is around 1704. Uh, close above this level, will go to the previous height around 1750 level. Okay, so daily and weekly chart show the same in the testing rebound stage, despite the overall trend is still bearish. All right, our daily chart we can show the same thing with higher high and higher low wave. So as we can see, continue higher high and higher low wave, we can focus on buy setup first. Okay, because now the buy, we can see here is the buy, buyer control the market more. All right. So uh, FKLI is quite mixed the signal because it's in a testing rebound in a bearish trend. So can be buy or sell. Okay, can be buy or sell. We see whether got a, we, we look at, at the waves to decide. Then we move to FCPO. FCPO, we look at the weekly chart first. Okay, so weekly chart, we can see the trend is still bearish, all right, unable to hold above the Bollinger Band. And then the technical indicator is still closing down, so it's a bearish trend. All right, so uh, the FCPO price may be moved like before, you can see here. Every time touch the middle line of the band and then it drop back, drop back, drop back, drop back. Okay, so this time may happen the same. So we need to watch out. So weekly is still bearish, but the daily chart uh show the trend is still in rebound stage as it above the middle line of Bollinger band and also the technical indicator is still closing up. So daily chart show different with the weekly chart, but we can see here the selling pressure return. Okay, so be careful. So from the Fibonacci level here, we can see the 38.2 level, which is around 2039. Close below this level, we continue to go down. So watch carefully this Fibonacci level. And then we look at the hourly chart. Okay, hourly chart, we can see here the technical indicator is start to closing down and then um, the price start to form lower high and lower low. So the signal is quite mixed, can be buy or sell. Okay, uh, but it's slightly more to a bearish now because uh, weekly chart is more to bearish. Okay, so uh, for now we can 
focus on the cell setup first unless it got a higher high and higher low wave okay so it's mixed signal for the fcpo and then we look at the crude oil okay crude oil we start at with the weekly chart first so weekly chart is in a bearish trend but it, since it dropped since uh from the october is already near three months and the isi is in oversold so be careful of the short term technical rebound okay the trend is still bearish of course the e chart show the same isi bullish divergence so may have a possible technical rebound in short term from the outside of the band but the trend is still bearish so the daily chart and weekly chart is the same we look at the hourly chart is also the same all right require a higher high wave which is uh, above 47 so below 47 we can focus on sell setup first all right because the overall trend is still bearish and with no confirmation of the rebound stage okay so for the crude oil buy above 47 sell below 47 it's just it's quite simple okay we look at the goal on the weekly chart okay we'll see here the gold weekly chart is testing a rebound okay technical indicator is closing up so testing a rebound but we overall in the sideways trend and then we we'll see the daily chart okay continue to rebound with the technical indicators still closing up so it's more to a bullish trend for the gold so we can focus on the buy setup first with the now resistance we can see here 61.8 level which is around 1292 watch out this level because above this level can be go to 136 something which is very high okay so we need to watch out this level for the hourly chart here yeah we can see a pretty higher high and higher low wave so in short uh in summary the goal we focus on the buy setup first unless we can see several lower high and lower low waves then at last we look at the dow jones dow jones more or less same with the fkri we can see here the weekly chart is in a bearish but uh, maybe i have a possible technical rebound in short term for outside of the band but it's still bearish uh. so if you want to buy please keep it for the short term only for now okay don't hold for the long term because don't have a concrete signal of the rebound yet okay it's because it's still bearish so daily daily trend show the same uh, technical rebound for isi oversaw people Nazi level showing that 61.8 will be located at around 24317 because above this level we'll go to this 26088 okay watch out this level and the hourly chart show the same starting forming a higher high and higher low wave for technical rebound for the video just seen okay but no confirmation yet so Dow Jones is still the same mixed signal can be buy or sell okay but for now in very short term is more on buy signal so at last we summarize all the five products for the trading setup for next week so uh, in summary FKLI, crude oil, Dow Jones and cpo is is more on a bearish trend okay but with a possible technical rebound for the fkli crude oil and dow john so can be buy or sell okay can fkli crude oil and dow john can be buy or sell okay watch out the respective support and resistance level okay or higher high and higher low wave to see whether it could continue rebound okay but keep the buy set up for the short term only for now okay and then a cpo we can look at the sell setup first because uh it's a uh, in a beginning rebound stage all right and then for the gold okay it's a very pretty bullish trend so we keep for the buy setup above 1250 level so this will be our review for the this week so next week if you want to know more about our trading setup can follow our channel which is already provided under this video and if you have any problem please feel free to comment or PMS okay so if you're interested about our events in January next year so uh, can contact us with this number 011-5353-7589 so before we end this week review um, I wish uh, you guys have a happy new year and a 
we hope that uh, we all can earn a lot of money and uh, that will be a great market in 2019. Alright, that will be all. See you guys next week in 2019. Thank you.